welcome back to Best Drink Recipes. I'm Eli Mountjoy, and we are going to make for you the El Diablo, featuring Abreojos tequila. Now to do that, we're going to need half an ounce of freshly squeezed lime juice, followed by three quarters ounce ginger syrup. And we're going to top that off with two ounces, one to two ounces of club soda. And then we're going to top that in what they call a float with this creme de cassis which is a black currant liqueur. And we're going to put it here into our Collins glass. And we're going to build it in our shaker. So first, with our lime, followed by our ginger. We'll get the last of that in there. This will be for the end, and this will be for the end. And let's go ahead and add our two ounces of Abreojos silver or Blanco tequila. We're gonna put in two ounces of this. There we go. Now we're gonna do an important step here. We're gonna do a whip or a dry shake. We're going to emulsify our ingredients before we chill them and dilute them. Looks like this. That's good. That's just to bring everything in together into synergy or harmony. It really binds all of the elements together. Now we're ready to shake with some ice. And while I have the ice out, let's go ahead and add a little to our glass. That's about right. Shake. We're not gonna overly shake here. We don't wanna to dilute too much because we're going to strain this right on top of some more rocks. But before we do that, let's go ahead and add gently our club soda. We don't want to lose all of our carbonation. So kind of like a beer, I'm just gonna bank this off the side so that we can retain as much of that carbonation as possible and also mix it through as we pour it so it's all throughout the drink and it's not just drink at the bottom and all watery at the top. Let's go ahead and pour. And that's gonna be perfect because we're going to use uh, this bar spoon to float our creme de cassis on the top to create the El Diablo. Now, you can use the flat, the flat end of the back of the bar spoon like we have, and if you've got a pour spout, you can literally drizzle it down the spiral here, and it just kind of floats itself right on top like that. If you don't have this, you can just use the back of the bar spoon like so, and we'll do it like this just to show you, and we're going to kind of rock it also off the top of this uh, piece of ice here, like an iceberg, that will help evenly distribute this, and you'll see it kind of slowly cascade down. Let's go ahead. And I'll just kind of let this drizzle all over the top if possible. We don't want too much, and we also don't want too little. That's about right. You can kind of see that cascade fall. It's beautiful. It's synergistic. It's dynamic. It's El Diablo. And this is optional, the lime wheel, but we're going to use it since we have it. And there you have El Diablo, featuring Abreojos Tequila. Now, if you'd like to see the review that we did of Abreojos Tequila, you can find that right here. Or if you'd like to find another cocktail that we make using Abreojos Tequila, you can find that right there. In the meantime, I'm going to have to say Delicious. Highly recommended. And if you'd like to see that review, you can find that right here. Or if you'd like to see more cocktails using Abreu Host Tequila, you can find that right there. And if you'd like to subscribe or comment, we'd love to hear from you. Mm. Delicious. I'm gonna finish this whole thing. Once again, thank you for watching Best Drink Recipes. I'm Eliam Mountjoy. Look forward to seeing you next cocktail.